And welcome back everybody, so glad to have you here for our continued adventures of Tormented Souls. So, last time we, uh, let's see, we cleared all of the, uh, wacky key puzzles, that's right, which, if I can <laughs> be a little self-braggart here, I pulled off with, uh, quite a plomb. Uh, the first, first, two, first two I got, like, super well. I was so shocked how easily those first two went. The other ones, not too bad. Like, a little bit of struggling, figuring out the syntax of the puzzles. But we got them, and we cleared up the... We cleared a bunch of stuff there as we went through all the little little rooms. We got a little bit of supplies and everything. We got the time travel again with another VHS tape. And we've got one of the three keys for the mausoleum. That's over here. Here. Yeah, so that's kind of a big deal. Gonna remember that. We left off last time. We came here to um, the, uh, the, 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 the West Wing second floor ICU area here, the little locked off part over here. We checked out these bottom rooms. I have to admit at this point that. Uh, I, I've been between recordings. I've been away on my summer holiday, so once once again, a case of I've been away for a bit, so I don't remember super well <laughs> everything that I did last time. So I got this is a little bit for reminding myself. What did we find last time? Right, we found the three evils puzzle here. Apparently, the three monkeys. Uh, looks like a judge's block. Clear shape has been carved in the wood. Do the buttons do anything? No, this is actually kind of a bad idea to be blind pressing these without knowing what's going on here, so we'll just let this be. I hope this one's not gonna be a case like the skeleton puzzle where I just can't figure the crap out of it at all. Uh, for now it looks like I mean it looks like we're missing we're missing something that comes here. And we're missing one more monkey thing. Or, well... Honestly, honestly, now that I look at it, this could fit two of them, but... On the other hand, yeah, I don't know. Let's keep our eyes open for monkey pieces, I guess. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. Just a quick recap. Um... Um, 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 so we didn't... Where we left off is we did not check out rooms 2B, 2A, 2B, or 2A. So let's go over there next, why don't we? And just get ready. Okay. Not hearing any monster noises, but there is light here, so I don't know. That's like, could be a sign of a fight. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, should I pull out it? I don't know. Boy, I forgot. We're rather low on shotgun supplies here. That's not great. And we're not doing... I don't, I don't say we're not doing great, but we did chew through a lot of these last time. I may have killed a couple of enemies I really didn't need to when I wanted to show off. That's right. I also, last time, we also cleared a couple of areas I hadn't done last time. When we you know... A rooms I had missed because I wasn't aware of the chandelier lighting mechanic yet. So we were able to deal with a couple more rooms. We got a little bit more lore there, which was handy. I think the most confusing part was the part where we found out that both of the grandfathers might be evil, if I was reading things correctly, if I was interpreting all the lore correctly. Anyway, uh, man, I just realized this game's actually having me sp spooked the same way that Silent Hill spooks you with the, like, al alternate, like, feels like, you know, Alternate um, feeling of safety versus feeling of like added horror is with the with the, uh, the 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 radio. Like the radio lets you know ahead of time if there are monsters nearby, so you know that that's some like alleviance. But at the same time, it's terrifying listening to the radio noise. Now, light in this game, I'm now thoroughly spooked. I'm not hearing anybody, so. A light, light has me thoroughly spooked in this game. Oh! Oh, okay. It's the... The one monster I wasn't thinking of. The real monster man. 
<laughs> Jeez, this guy just keeps doing it. He's so silent off screen. <laughs> Has there been any time he wasn't like off screen waiting for the camera to switch real quick? Oh, jeez. Anyway, the point was, um, like, yeah, I'm like light. I, I'm not as scared, obviously, if, if the area is lit, but also that also means that there might be a monster to fight. Of course, there might also be monsters to fight in the dark because we, we you know, now we know the chandelier thing, so I guess, but the point is, like, you know, I, I have like mixed feelings whenever a room is well lit like this. I'm like, oh no, how is this gonna go? Anyway, what is shaking with him? He's, uh, he's holding his elbow, I guess. I, oh, I know what's going on. He's, uh, He's, he's, he's done that thing where you hit your elbow like on a nerve, like you hit a nerve on your elbow perfectly and it makes like that little electrical jolt through your arm. And now he's just like, ah, oh, oh, I, I, I think is what's going on here. <laughs> Ugh, yeah, it sucks when that happens. I. Father, what happened to you? Good talk. You're in shock. We need to take care of your injury before you bleed out. Bleed out, out. <laughs> Sorry, you're bleeding out. <laughs> oh no. Oh jeez. He's lost an arm. I must find a way to help him. Wait, what? Wait, what? Is that what's? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, I was looking at that completely wrong. I, I thought he had like his hand like bent, his left arm like bent in a weird way, like it was behind his head, his his hand. I. Oh wow. Okay. Um. He's lost an arm. I must find a way to help him. Oh, gee. oh, jeez. Okay. Um. Uh. I can't really. I can't really use this. It's it's heal. So. Right. I sit right there. I guess. And. <laughs> oh boy, that's that's a problem. Well, it's going to. Oh, jeez. Right. Sharp change of color or, or lighting there. Sorry. <laughs> oh, it's it's. Uh, oh. Okay. It's, it's a mirror. Um, these is what we use to go in the dark world, which you may recall is. I, I think it's different from the time travel, right? That's the. Now that I think about it, isn't that super weird in this game? Like. Like that, we went through the, that one mirror, right? And that was completely different, right? Like, because it, it was like a Silent Hill style nightmare world where everything was all grimy and replaced with spooky stuff. And then we've done the tape thing, the VCR thing, the projector thing, and that's just time travel because it's just the same world, right? But like, it's like back in time, and you know, you've got like film grain, so you know you're back in time. But like, that's not like everything's changing into this nightmare version. So, um, but why don't we check this room first before we go, uh, check out that thing right there. Yeah. Yeah, we could, like, I guess, mess with this, but we'll, we'll let that be for a second. I'll check this other room first. 2A, oh. Oh, well, that's... This is weird decor for an ICU. Ooh. Oh, shoot. Interesting. Uh, we did get this last time. In one of the rooms, we got electric lance charges, which the number here kind of implies it might be a high-powered charge. Can be used in an electric lance. Yeah, this, I think this is like ammo for a weapon, and I think we just found what it is for this Frankenstein machine over here. Wow. Okay, uh... How do I... Okay, there doesn't seem to be anything to, like... Man, this camera change is abrupt here. Okay. Not... Yeah, I can't open this thing, unfortunately. Okay. Well, let's check through the rest of the door. Can't open this trunk. Oh, nice. Okay. Nails. Yeah, that, that'll do. That'll do nicely. Good. <laughs> uh, getting spooked. And that's where I came in, so... Wasn't there a door in here? Hold on. Like, 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 like a second door that I... Oh, okay. Right. It's, it's over there. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's over there. So it's... And, it, and I think it's locked. Was it locked on the other side? 
Well, let's have a quick look. Uh, before we mess with this, let's, let's, let's have a quick look. Um, and uh, how is everything okay in here? Okay, apparently so. This is really messed up. We're just leaving him sitting there with a dismembered arm. But I want to check this really quickly out. Like, what's this? Oh yeah, there's the dead monsters. Interesting, this area, you know, they're playing, they're being sparing with the monsters, which I think is good, because, like, I've been kind of jumpy this whole floor, to, this part here entirely all the time, to be kind of a bit jumpy and expecting a monster in these rooms, but apparently it was only this corridor, so it's pretty good restraint, honestly. Right, there was a hole in the ground. Okay, good. It wasn't a locked door. I, I was just thinking, like, maybe I just forgot to... Like, like you know, maybe I thought I checked these first and I didn't even think to use the door here. But okay, no, we definitely can't go there. Got it. And we can't access it... Uh, can't access it from, 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 from this side either. Alright, so... I... Yes, next move is to mess with this, so... Alright, yeah, okay. I can light this candle. There we go. Oh, I gotta stop this. It's not even a very good Canadian accent. I gotta stop this. <laughs> Ugh. Oh yeah, the first time we had a, like a really proper jump scare where a monster showed up. Now it just apparently shows the other world. Okay, this is, yeah, see, see, see what I'm talking about? This isn't, like, this area, but back in time. Because now we're in a proper Silent Hill nightmare. Nightmare world. Like, look at, look at all this, like, nonsense. You don't build houses like this. Anyway, let's, it's locked from the other side. Ah, darn it. I was, you know, hoping, like, you know, we'd, like, maybe do something over on the Dark World to help us get to that lance. Apparently not. Okay. Oh, torture racks instead of beds, yeah, you know. Oh, oh my god. Oh, that's not nice decor. Jeez, oh. Oh, interesting. It's, it's, okay. This arm is missing. It's another mannequin, okay. This is interesting because this is how we affected the first time we went to the Dark World, right? Uh, we, uh, it was that baby. Yeah, there was a baby man or just a baby doll, but yeah, you know. Because, you know, I remember I tried to, like, put the plastic heart in that, uh, that, that, like, half-dead guy. But then it turned out, like, that was, that was the right answer. We had to go to the Dark World and put it in the baby. So, are we really gonna save Father Watts' face? What was it? Father... Whatever it is. Anyway, are we gonna save... Have they mentioned his name? Huh. But anyway, are we really gonna save him by attaching an arm to the mannequin in this world? That's so weird. Oh, there's no way I'm looking inside. Okay, <laughs> fine. It's just... I hope this door works. Yeah, nice. Oof, okay. This music, by the way, this is going like peak silent though right now with these tracks. This is getting uncomfortable. <laughs> Ugh, now it's pouring. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, I'm not getting through here either. Okay, fine. Uh, no. Okay, alright. Uh, oh, ooh, I got turned around. Oh, okay. Ooh, by the way, I'm like super... Now I'm using tank controls again a little bit, but I feel like I really have given up on tank controls, like modern controls, even with the sharp camera changes, uh, seem to be working a little better. I've gotten hurt a couple of times because of misusing it while fighting monsters. Most of the time, it seems like whenever a monster shows up by default, like I immediately jump. Even if I try doing the good old tank controls here. Anyway. Please. Noise a noise. 
Hey, noisy, noisy. So forget about the noise. Ooh, shotgun shells. Don't mind if I do. How, how many are we rocking now? Nice. Five in the, in the bag. One in the chamber. Good, 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 good. Use up our chances a little bit. Okay. Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh yeah, right. Because the monkey thing is here, so right. They have a monkey theme here, and it's a it's a it's a baboon and a guillotine. Okay. I guess that's what we're doing now. All right. Let's see. Oh, metallic cylinder is lodged in the statue's mouth. Okay. And that appears to be exactly the thing that goes in the, the monkey machine in the real world. So, yeah, yeah, makes sense. Rope is preventing the blade from dropping. Well, as it turns out, we might just have an answer for that. Uh, yeah, I've been rocking this item still in here. We cut open the hatch to the basement, but... Although, man, this is... Sorry. Sorry, Mr. Monkey. This is gonna... Ooh. Apparently the only logical way to dislodge this thingy out of the baboon's mouth. A parchment scroll in a decorative metal casing. Okay. Yeah, I figured it's a scroll thing. Yep, here we go. What the? The monkey thief. The judge read the sentence aloud in an unwavering voice, his fingertips sliding rapidly over the small bumps that covered the surface of his paper. The defense attorney seemed hypnotized by the angry movements of the judge's lips. The accused's mother wrote in capital letters frantically on a slip of paper that she lifted over her head in desperation. The gavel hit, its victim resigned. And so the cold blade inevitably fell under the innocent's neck. Oh no, the monkey was innocent? Oh gosh. Uh, ooh, I'm just gonna walk away from that then. That's very bad. <laughs> I mean, this whole thing was kind of messed up, but it's just a statue, everybody. It's all good. <laughs> just watch, it's gonna be like a decapitated monkey when we get back to the real world. Ugh. Anyway, that sounded like a super complicated puzzle. We're gonna have a skeleton puzzle on our hands, aren't we? When we go back to the monkey machine. Oh! Oh, nice. Vial of morphine treats minor injuries. And we are in caution state, so we're gonna use that right away. All right. Okay. What is this? Hold on, wait. What is this thing? It's, 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 is this like kind of, oh, we can stand on it. What is this? It's, is it a squatting toilet? Is it some kind of really archaic shower? What, this is a, oh, no, I think it is a squatting toilet. Okay. Apparently that's good for your, like, intestines or something. Hammer with a wooden hand. Aha. Uh -huh. I, uh, I, uh, I'm gonna have to admit, this is where I'm like, my memory of all the stuff is coming to a head. I can't remember if there's something we should be smashing with a hammer. There's super might be, so, like, please forgive me, but, like, uh. Oh! Interesting, by the way, hold on. This is a closet that we can't really access. I think there's something blocking this door in the real world, but we actually got through this back route into this closet. The maintenance closet, I guess, because there's a hammer in there, I guess. Yeah. Okay, room 2C. Let's see. Oh! It's like... Oh, wait, what's that? Oh, shit! Ah! Oh god, I got ran in the corner. Oh, oh man, okay, this was a I I I screwed up. This was a bad idea. Ooh, still kicking, huh? Okay, hold on. 
Okay, I got lucky there with that last swing. Um, I, I I forgot that these guys are rather sturdy. I was I think I was thinking I could like knock this guy down, but not at that range. Not a caution again. I kind of wasted that. Uh... Well, not I guess not, but I wish I didn't get hit there. But... That was a little embarrassing. Oh man. One of these dangle dudes. Oh, they have crutch. I just now realized they're moving around with crutches. <laughs> it's kind of a ooh, macabre. Speaking of macabre, this is right here. This body is hanging by a makeshift moose. Suicide. Yeah, for all, what is it? Where are you? CSI all of a sudden? For all we know, this is a setup and these people were, you know, it's full of various medicines. Too bad we can't use those for anything. Anyway, like, yes, this is... Well, you know what, we're in the dark world, so this is just, like, a manifestation or whatever. But, like, you know. Uh? Well, that... <laughs> a plastic left arm for a mannequin. Oh, that's lucky for... Assuming we actually helped the father with this. That's lucky it's a left arm that he's missing. It'd be really awkward if he guy ended up with two right arms. That'd be really creepy. So, um, whew. good on that. Ooh. How are we doing with these shells? Oh, <laughs> we used up one and we got one. Great. Well, plus minus zero. Can't complain. Ooh. Did I hear another mod? Was that just ambience? I don't know. Screw this guy. These guys don't seem super hard because, like, they need to get up to you to do anything, but I keep getting, like, bumbled by them. They are strategically placed in, like, tight, small corridors, so they aren't an easy deal. Nice! Okay. Good. Got the path open there. I guess that makes life a little easier. And then we... Oh! <gasps> That was really embarrassing too. Really should have maybe been paying attention, but didn't walk out a little bit carefully. And there is nothing we can really do about this guy, is there? Hold on. Darkness. I see only shadows. Ooh. Yeah. So this is a case like the guy in the first floor. Um, hold on, where was it? Uh, first floor west the guy over here blocking us from getting to the laundry, right? Like, like we even did that last episode when I went on my tour of, like, checking for chandeliers to light. That guy is not near, just like this guy is not near a chandelier. So we're gonna need to, yeah, we're gonna get a, we're gonna have to get a power up for that. Uh, I imagine it might be, you know, I was thinking this, like, my, my first reaction is that we're gonna restore power here. I mean, they've got these dangling lights here. Like, maybe we restore power in the real world and then these like, lamps will come on in the dark world as well? Maybe? But I was honestly thinking, actually, what might also be a thing, like a late-game power-up for us, is like some kind of um, light source that is... Um, uh, frees up your hands. I was gonna say it's portable, but this lighter is portable. No, what I mean is like your hands are free to do stuff, like a power source. Power source. A light source that's like free, not in your hands like you know like a like a like a like a, like a lamp in your breast pocket or a, or a, like a forehead lamp thing you know that would be like a really nice thing to have like near the end as a power up and that would be like a way to deal with those guys so we'll see okay so we got the hand and we got a hammer i don't know what to use the hammer for so before we do anything else oh yeah and we should go do the monkey puzzle right that's also what I was thinking about. You got the the monkey tube, <laughs> monkeys all over. Uh, anyway, yeah, um, uh, yeah. Uh, let's do this first since we're on the way here. So, <laughs> still up space between the pieces, huh? 
Oh. Oh, okay. Plastic, okay. Yeah, 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 okay, I see. Oh, you know what? This is actually a pretty good point. Like, this is just two pieces of plastic we're rubbing together. Okay, this isn't gonna work. I don't suppose I could... This is such a stupid plan, but... And I hope this doesn't have huge repercussions for the father, but... It doesn't fit. Dang it! Okay. Why long? Where's our key? No. Okay, but, you know, if only I had a goddamn nailer! Oh, you can't... Oh, that's so annoying. You can't, like, equip it as an item to use here. What about the crowbar? Eh, no. See, the crowbar's a weapon, but we can use it. Why not the... It's a goddamn nailer! It's meant to be used as a tool! Oh my god, fine. And we got, like, ooh, 84 nails. Not bad. Anyway, you, I, I'm totally just a... <laughs> but maybe that would have resulted in horrible stigmata for the father, which he might have appreciated. You know? I am closer to Jesus, well... But anyway, I would have totally just, like, nailed this arm to this doll with the nail gun. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I'm a licensed doctor. Why don't you believe me? Okay, well, we got to figure out some gorilla glue or something, I guess, next. To fix that situation. But let's go do the monkey puzzle then. And if we can't do the monkey puzzle yet... Let's go figure out something to smash with a hammer. Oh, man. That was some proper Silent Hill music, but it was getting a little oof as it kept on going there. I was gonna... And how are we doing here? He's lost an arm. I must find a way to help him. This is this is really messed up that this dude. That's, that's so crazy. And also the fact that he's like not... I, is that how... I guess that's how being in shock works, but like, he's not like saying anything. It's like really messed up there. We get getting a dialogue going with this guy. Oh boy. Um. Yeah, monkey puzzle. Okay, yeah, no. Stay on target. Because apart from that, I don't have a ton of good ideas on what we could do. I do appreciate this game has been rather tight on where to go all the time, though. Like, it hasn't been super overwhelming with the amount of options. But, you know, it's been tossing you, like, the main hall door and then the mausoleum thing. Just little, little snippets of stuff to come up with. But it's been fairly okay to, like, keep up without that fear of, like, overwhelming amount of stuff to remember to do. Like, the, the order you've been able to do stuff in has remained rather manageable. 